Novak Djokovic walking into Margaret Court Arena now. Clint Stanaway and Sam Groth, you're there. Thank you so much, Beck. Sam Groth joins me now on Margaret Court Arena. And Sammy, this has been turned into a bit of a party venue. And the main attraction is that man, Novak Djokovic. How about it? Yeah, it has been. DJ's been playing, everyone's been dancing, and one entrance Novak made. The amount of noise he received here from this Murray Court Arena crowd who stuck around, watched the matches on the big screen. It's so good for these, or well, the people here, to come in and be able to see Novak. We do see a few rock concerts, a few pop concerts on this very stage, and right now, he is the main attraction. He's the pop star, and for very good reason, because he was dominant out there. Um, he's an absolute hit right now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, he deserves it, though. Seven-time Australian Open champion. He's done something that no one else has ever been able to do, breaking Roy Emerson's record. It was unbelievable tennis from Novak tonight. And as we said, everyone here getting a glimpse of the absolute champion. Well, give us a bit of an insight into Novak Djokovic, the bloke, the person, because um, we see his dominance on the court. What's he like? behind closed doors if you like. Oh he's always nice, comes up and says hi but he's an intense character. What you see on the court is very much the person you see often as well. He does like to have a joke and play around but when it's business it's business. Well what we can tell you about Margaret Court Arena this evening is that these are all ground pass holders so you can get an appreciation for just how popular Novak Djokovic is because thousands of fans, a lot of them with Serbian flags, flags draped over their shoulders, have packed the stands here just to catch a glimpse of a man who is immensely popular, clearly judging by the cheers. Yeah, and it's not just the fans in Rod Labour who love him, is it? It's the people out in the grounds. We saw the pictures out in Garden Square throughout the night, and you just have to look in here now, and the atmosphere that they've turned Murray Court Arena into. It is like a bit of a rock concert. Here we go. He's doing his lap of honour. Everyone clambering for a piece of the world number one. And why not? This signature is probably worth a lot of money, Sammy. He's now a seven-time Australian Open champion. If it's worth money, I might head down there, mate. <laughs> How do I get down there? Tell us about the feet. You were courtside. He was utterly dominant. He was a masterclass, wasn't it? Oh, 100%. He, he... And there's nothing he did wrong tonight. I'm honestly extremely glad that I never played Novak Djokovic if that's what he produces because that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> there he is. These are great scenes. Just giving that little bit back to the fans. I think it's a great initiative from the Australian Open as well. Craig Tyler and his staff to bring Novak out here. He's played well, all his matches on Rod Laver Arena, but a chance for the you know, the average, the grand pass holder to get a glimpse of him as well. I think it's important. I'll tell you what I'm witnessing. He's worshipped by the Serbians, by, by the fans, isn't he? He's worshipped in that country. Do you get that sense? Well, I think because he's won so many titles. We love a winner here in Australia. We all know that. Of course, the Serbian fans, though, you can see the flags in here. There's plenty of them out in force tonight. So this man, Sammy, he's 31 years of age. Yeah. And he's... He's playing out of his skin. He's playing as well as he ever has. Does it sort of take your breath away? Oh, it does, 100%. And I guess the question is now, he's won the last three slams in a row. What number is Novak going to get to? And I think that's the thing we're going to be looking at over the next couple of years. I guess the scary thing also is that he's come back from injury, from a serious injury, just 12 months ago, as he alluded to on stage, as he waves to the crowd again. He's about to bid farewell to Margaret Court Arena. What a great ovation from a great champion. Beck, I'm going to throw it back to you because I get the sense he's not far away from that Wide World of Sports studio.